The Battle of Vittorio Veneto was launched on the 24th of October 1918 and saw the Italian army, supported by Allied divisions, finally crack the weakened Austro-Hungarian Empire and push it out of Italy. A few days into the offensive, member states of Austria-Hungary began to declare independence and the multicultural empire fell apart. A general retreat was ordered by the High Command and on the 3rd of November the armistice of Villa Giusti was signed, ending the war on the Italian front the next day. At the same time as the Vittorio Veneto battle, the French and American forces were pushing the Germans back in the Meuse-Argonne offensive on the Western Front. Two days after the ceasefire in Italy on the 6th of November, Sedan and its critical railroad hub was captured. These severe losses during the Allied offensives, together with the surrender of their last Central Powers ally, led to the German Empire requesting an armistice, which was finally signed on the 11th of November. On the anniversary of their humiliating defeat at Caporetto, the Italian army launched a huge assault to win back the land they had lost from the now well-prepared Austro-Hungarians. This would be the ultimate test for both of these courageous armies. Heute Morgen sah ich einen Adler über dem Berg kreisen. Ich kam nicht umhin, an unseren Reichsadler zu denken, der uns die wahre Größe unserer Ideale zeigt. So majestätisch, so erhaben. Er kann von dort oben sicher die Italiener sehen. Wie dieser Raubvogel werde ich sie mir holen, einen nach dem anderen. Soldaten, the Italians are upon us. We must hold the Church of San Rocco. If we are overcome, fall back to our second line in the Valley of Seren. Should we lose the pass, do not despair. We will retreat to our fortress. There we will win. Be bold, men. The Emperor. Flugzeug, seht ihr das? at this small victory. Then steal yourselves again, for our fight is not over. Onward! The enemy is being reinforced with an airship. Take an objective butter. Seht hier, das ist eine ihrer Soldaten. We won. The Empire is close to victory. The Italian ranks are diminishing, but we expect one final attack. Let's show these usurpers who truly rules these mountainous lands.
using objective apples. for the central powers across the world. Be proud. One can only speculate what an Austro-Hungarian victory would have meant for the future of Europe. It is possible success could have united the crumbling empire, allowing the Habsburgs to keep control of their countries, races and ethnicities for at least a few months longer. The US Army's attack along the River Meuse would be the first time most of these so-called doughboys had witnessed real combat. Though this assault came as a surprise to the Central Powers, the German Army was an experienced elite force, ready for anything. Tomorrow we'll be going over the top. Finally up against the Hun. So far it's felt too much like a holiday. You seen the machine guns they got? The artillery? The planes? Damn it, odds of us getting through this campaign gotta be about 25 to 1 against. Them devils ain't so tough. Us boys will knock out their fortifications easy. Break this Hindenburg line and finish this war. French been fighting for four years. They say just four minutes up against these fortified German lines and we look just like them. Yeah like an army of living dead. General Pershing has ordered an attack along the Meuse River. First, we must secure Shrapnel Corner, this fortified trench line here. Then we will move into their rear, take and hold this chateau. 
Following this assault, we will continue our push towards this railway hub and capture it quickly. This will clear the way into the Argonne Forest. Remember, boys! The new world is coming to redress the balance of the old! It is now or never! Let's it! sector from enemy presence. the resistance of this brutal foe, but it's only the beginning. Now we must move to the Argonne Forest and finish this war once and for all. The Germans were using defense in depth tactics designed to lure the enemy towards much stronger rear defenses. The victorious Doughboys marched into the Argonne Forest, unaware of the deadly defenses awaiting them ahead. Again, good. So what? They got no food in their bellies. They're shivering out there. Blackjack person ain't got a clue. Hunt have got bunkers made of solid concrete, guns the size of houses. Concrete pillboxes, strafing guns, mustard gas. <laughs> At the river, I saw a dozen of us blown to fragments by a shell. The Spirit of Liberty ain't got no protection against those things. I say it's time my screenhorns put old Hunt out of his misery. I got my bayonet fixed, my rifle loaded, and I'm ready to kill every last one of them bastards. The Germans occupy several strongholds within the Argonne Forest. Our priority is to take the Ritz Bunker here. Once this position is secured, we must attack and hold the bridge at Hellfire Junction. From here, we launch our attack on their lines and take control of these abbey ruins. Remember, the Germans have been strengthening these fortifications for years, so this won't be easy.
isn't in it anymore, so let's go at them again, this time to victory. Victorious too, the whole German line is collapsing. They'll be surrendering by nightfall. We did what we came to do. Let's pray this is the war to end all wars. The success of the Meuse-Argonne offensive came at a high price and remains to this date the bloodiest battle in American history. This outcome broke the German army, leading to an armistice and peace with the Allies' nation dictating terms.